Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Mei Ling, master's student in New York University. Today I'm going to talk about this whole desk setup situation here, and I use for my study, video recording, editing, cheating, and general productivity stuff. So I'm going to talk about everything that I use, especially for electronic devices. So if you are interested in any single stuff or you might only interested in one thing, links are down in the description below. If you're only interested in MacBook Pro or water bottle or so, you can just find the details below and you don't have to watch the whole video. But it will be very nice if you did. So let's jump into it and let's start with the desk. The desk is IKEA Limon desk with a deal leg for multi-purpose. As far as I know, this is one of the most basic but popular desks for students and young professionals. I pretty much like the simple setting, so I have a white desk and four black legs. So let's talk about the tech. The main laptop I'm using is a new 13-inch MacBook Pro 2018. It's got the 256GB storage and a very nice retina display. Then the MacBook is connected with a USB-C hub with my wired mouse. Talking about this mouse, actually I randomly took it from my home back in China since no one was using it and it's kind of small which makes me feel pretty comfortable when using it. I have been using it for one and a half years and I'm thinking about to get a new wireless one uh, since I want to make my stuff more wireless if possible. Probably there will be question here about MacBook already have a great trackpad and that is the thing that people can use instead of mouse. Why am I still using the mouse? I hold the same thoughts before and I do agree that this trackpad it's fantastic in terms of scrolling down and up and when you are not at home or you need to bring a laptop it is so convenient to just have a laptop with you but when the time comes to video editing it is really hard for me to just use trackpad to control everything but a mouse will make everything much easier here comes my second screen ipad pro 2018 with a second generation of apple pencil i bought this last mouse after watching several youtube videos the reviews introduced this fantastic piece I really think this iPad Pro 2018 is a beast without any doubt. Oftentimes, I use it to play music as my background voice at home, doing some audio editing, and most importantly, taking notes and writing stuff with it. Oftentimes, I would like to write down my ideas about podcasts or videos, and when I have the time to make them, I will open this document. This is a document pool where I write down my thoughts. You can see here are different categories that I cluster my stuff with different topics, so it is easy for me to find whatever I need quickly. I also use my iPad Pro very often with studying and making notes. Oftentimes, I watch some video on Coursera, or when I need taking notes, I watch videos on MacBook and use iPad Pro as a notebook. Speaker is one of the things that I must have, though we all know every device has its built-in speaker. It doesn't quite sound the same with a speaker outside, especially a good one. My go-to speaker is JBL Go. I got it 3 months ago when I was just arrived in Boulder, Colorado for my semester long program but without a speaker. After a few weeks of struggling, I ordered this little blue box from Amazon. The biggest advantage of the speaker is it is so small that you can bring it anywhere you want. Next, it's Zhiyun Smooth 4 phone stabilizer with a tripod. I put it on my table, it's mainly because I have nowhere to put it, even it only occupied a little space with this tripod on my desk. Kidding! The major reason is since I just got the amazing machine and I took a lot of video with it. So it is better to be closer with me for transfer photos and video footage. I think I might going to make a video about this fantastic stabilizer, but I have to say this is one of the worthiest purchases in my 2018. It brings me so much fun and some of the footages in the video is also come from the help with stabilizer. Here are some videos I took by using stabilizer together with the iPhone XR. Here, I also have my major camera with my desk, Sony A6000 with Joby Gorilla Pod. I oftentimes put it here for recording. Sometimes I use it to record myself, such as the series of Study With Me. Here are two wireless earphones that I often use, AirPod, perfect for any condition, and AirPods can rank as my second favorite Apple products. And one more is a wireless earphone from Urban Years. One thing I really like this wireless earphone is because it has magnitude here that I can easily attach both together when I don't listen to music. Also in the same time, I can just keep it on my neck safely, maybe also as a decoration. I have all my wires on the carpet, which makes my desk look better and minimalism. One for my phone and one for iPad, since iPad has the same wire with MacBook Pro, so I can use one wire for both. I also have this nice little patch panel, which has a very nice design two USB connections and several plugs for other necessaries. 
Except from all these heavy tech gears, I also have my cutest mini avocado doll with me. It is just so, so cute that I have to bring it with me everywhere. And I will be so happy every time I see its cute smile face. So this is my simple desk setup 2018. Hope you liked it. If you like it, please give a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Have a lovely evening. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.